Arabia. And so many times, so many questions comes. Why Allah is hurting people in this world? And what's happening? Why he should have stopped it? And really, I uh, always I respond with that. The problem is that we think that Allah has one attribute. One attribute only, Rahmah. But there are so many attributes that really we need to think about. Al-Ad, Al-Ilm, he's the most knowledgeable. He's the most understanding. He's the most knows everything. He's the most wise. Always we have this example that imagine that you go to an operation room and you see a surgeon, he's cutting person and blood is coming out. What do you think? You will say, how, how, why he's cutting? You, told, you tell him the doctor is very knowledgeable, but still blood is coming from the wound. Yeah, yeah, you know, he's a knowledgeable doctor, don't worry about it. Still, we question the doctor and we question ourselves. The question is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we believe in our hearts that he is the most knowledgeable, again, our life will be different. Why I'm saying what I'm saying? In Surah Hudaybiyah, this is when Surah Hudaybiyah, if you don't know, is in the sixth year of Hijrah, not of Da'wah. This means that the Prophet died four years after, only four years after that. How many people were there? 1400, only 1400. And the Prophet agreed on something that even some of the Sahaba, including Sayyidina Umar, disagreed. Disagreed with the Prophet. Why are you accepting that? Why this is happening? Why? Why whatsoever, whatever everything is happening around us? Why? Allah has so many things we really don't know. How many times I ask everyone here, especially over 25, before you come here, did you think that you're coming here? I have to talk about myself. 29 years ago, Canada wasn't there. I liked it in Saudi Arabia and uh, beside the Harab. And, oh man, it's good. I was planning to get a house in Egypt and that's it. That's it. That was all my thinking. And do Umrah every year and I'm very happy. But subhanAllah, Allah has another way, another way to meet all of you, to see all of you, to be all of you like my brothers. A test for me and test for you to accept. Test for you and test for me. And when you see something, you have to engage and have to understand. The Prophet 1400 people were in Surah Hudaybiyah. Three years after, just three years, more than 120,000. Until today, the people of Palestine almost 25,000 died. SubhanAllah. When you hear that, I cry. But if you look around, yesterday, someone here declared Islam in this place. And they called my brother here because I wasn't here. I was sick yesterday. And subhanAllah, he declared Islam. And there is, statistically they say, almost more than 30,000 people in France alone came to Islam. And so on and so forth. Then what should we do as Muslims? Believe that Allah knows everything. And he has a way. Two, he has a way in everything. Three, try to do your job, your part, whatever your job is. Even if my son here has to lead the prayer. This is my job. For I'll ask him to make dua to us now. Because really I want him to, make, to see him here. Five, try to find a way to help. Don't, the easy way is what? Easy way, everything is what? Sit on the couch. Oh man, it's bad enough. This is the easy way. The hard way. Get out of the couch. Try to do something. Try to make a difference in life. Whatever you can do. Whatever you can do. Whatever you can help. Whatever you can support. Even simple things. Wallahi, simple things can make a difference in life. And if I keep on talking about simple things happen, but the people over 25 can answer that. 
How many times you change your route? Simple things can make a difference in life. The Prophet والسلام, let's finish with that. When the Sahaba came to him in Fath Mecca, who's that? Sa'ad ibn Ubaidah. He said, today, we rule. And the Prophet said, والسلام, today, we'll have rahmah. We'll support each other. That's what we need to do. Love each other, support each other. Make sure that you're united. And drop my suggestion. Drop the nationality. Because our enemies are the ones who did it. And support the young to go up. And have, what do you say? Have the confidence that Allah has a way in life that we need to work on. May Allah make us from the people who hear and adhere. Allahumma aghfir lana dhunubana wa israfana fi amrina wa tawfana salihin. Wa ajal afir kalimina la ilahe illa Muhammad Rasulullah. We'll make dua after him inshallah. And let's see what he will say. Yeah. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala sayyidina Muhammadin fil awaliyin.